listening to Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz, along with Michelle Grinnell. And uh, Michelle, who are we going to talk to next? We are talking with Christian Overland, who is the Executive Vice President at The Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan. And uh, there's always many great things happening at The Henry Ford and Greenfield Village and all of those uh, attractions. But one of them coming up July 26th through 27th is especially fun, and that is Maker Fair. So welcome to the show, Christian. And what's new for Maker Fair this year? Well, hi, Dave, and hi, Michelle. Great to be on the show. So what's new for Maker Fair this year is we're bringing out some of the collections of the Henry Ford and reuniting them with their inventors. So have you ever heard of a Moog synthesizer? The Moog synthesizer. It rings a bell. It's the, it's the first synthesizer mm. um, that started uh, kind of in the electronic era music in the 60s and then moved into p- uh, bands like Yes with Rick Wakeman playing them, mm. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and now it's a standard instrument used today in by most every rock band. But Herb Deutsch, Herbert Deutsch is coming, the inventor. And we have the very first Moog synthesizer, which he invented. So I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be out Maker Fair. Yeah, that's cool. And, and uh, as well, we're bringing out some other instruments like violins as well, too, the violin collection. But really, the fascinating stuff is um, we're actually having stuff that's like a carnival. So there are people that produce carnivals around the United States. They make the clothing. Um, they produce floats. And we're actually going to have a parade at Henry Ford in the parking lot, this mm-hmm. Carnival Parade. And what's cool about it, people can actually make things and be a part of the float and mm-hmm. a costume. Hmm. And, and that, that fits in with the Maker Faire. That, that fits perfectly well. Yeah. You know, why don't you describe what Maker Faire really is all about? So Maker Faire is the idea of thinking about the old uh, great uh, world fairs where people share technology and they got together and talked about new things and predicted the future. It's that type of thing, except looking at it through the lens of making. And what making is today is everything from arts and crafts to robotics to food, new food ways to having a lot of fun and just celebrating rather than competing, but celebrating new ideas and new ways of doing things. So for our Maker Fair, we're going to have close to 400 makers and we turn the entire parking lot of Henry Ford Museum into an outdoor activity, as well as the entire floor of Henry Ford Museum, 405,000 square feet, into a make space where different exhibitors from around the country come in. One of the great things that we do is we have the Coke and Mentos geyser, Hmm. and that's where it's it's almost like a fireworks. There's thousands of Diet Coke bottles, and they have these shoots of Mentos candy above them, and it's timed when they drop in, and then the Diet Coke explodes in the air. Wow. So the, I, you know, I've seen pictures of this on uh, the Henry Ford website, and it looks a lot of fun. Yes, it, bring your ring gear. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. It's, it's everywhere. It just it's, goes everywhere. It's a lot of fun. Well, you know, I, I can't think of a better place for an event like Maker Fair than the Henry Ford. I, as you know, I do a lot of speeches around the state, and... Um, I often will talk about Henry Ford, and I, I typically describe him as a tinkerer. And I think I, I offend people when I say that sometimes. I don't mean to. And I, I, I say that in the most you know glowing of terms because that's kind of what he was. He, he would kind of think of a, a challenge, and he would kind of tinker away at it and come up with a solution. You're absolutely right, David. There's no apology on calling Henry Ford a tinkerer. As an American historian, uh, I've been studying Henry Ford, you know, most of my adult life. And what's brilliant about him is his idea of learning by doing. Mm-hmm. You just don't come up with something the day you sit down, but you have to work at it. He learned that from Thomas Edison. So Ford tinkered, you know, even as a youth uh, on his farm, taking apart watches to learn how things worked. And he loved to do that throughout his entire life, ultimately leading, of course, to the invention of the Model T and building out Ford Motor Company. So... He used that idea in creating the Henry Ford as well. Yeah. And so in 1929, when we were created, you know, he wanted to create a space where people could learn by doing. And so this is in direct connection to our founder, Henry Ford. He loved the idea of putting things together, having little workshops. Um, and as many people may or may not know, even in his house, this Fairlane house, he had a little workshop. He just couldn't hmm. stop himself from tinkering around. Wow. He loved inventing. Yeah. Christian, for aspiring tinkerers, what are some of the things that they can do uh, at Maker Fair to really kind of 
roll up their sleeves. I mean, and, and we're talking all ages from young to, uh, you know, adults that may want to kind of embrace this this tinkering. Uh, what are some of the things that they can kind of participate in or experience while they're at Maker Fair? Well, so people can do everything from making a circuit uh, in sense of, and these are kids too, right? There's soldering workshops that show that show a kids and they have them actually make like little ornaments that light up from a battery, soldering circuits together, to textiles of weaving, to creating paper, to actually doing robotics, to looking at how things get made with um, uh, metal and different metals coming together. All these things you can do. There's actually a forge going on there, too. Hmm. So from uh, doing something to taking it home, uh, well, there's one of these things that uh, is a favorite of kids every year, these little marshmallow shooters. Hmm. So they get a little packet of tubes and stuff, and they learn how to kind of put these little marshmallow shooters together. And inevitably, we have uh, kids that are who can shoot their marshmallow the, the furthest distance. But what it's teaching them is science and physics, right? And that's things that are not lost on people, too. So it's a great place to do this event because we are the place of innovation, resourcefulness, and ingenuity. Mm-hmm. And our whole idea is to have a, an event, and this does it so well, to inspire people to do things once they go home, too. So it's not a one-and-done our idea is hopefully that people will learn about new things and be able to do them with their family. Of course, alternative power is uh, in the news every day. We're all looking for you know, new ways to, to power up uh, everything that we want to power up. Uh, any any uh, displays that you expect to come out of the kind of the power idea? There are. There are new electrical displays. Um, there's always battery stuff that's being worked on. Uh, you know, in the invention of... Um, electric automotive in the early 20th century and late 19th century, the battery ideas are still the issue today. And so we have people that are testing and showing new ideas there, too. The other thing is, in terms of transportation, is new bicycle design, uh, lighter weight, different composite bicycles. And it's a lot of fun with local people making bicycles and then uh, having people ride them, too, showing the difference. So there's a constant search and kind of an insatiable appetite for the makers that come to talk about what they do, even in making music and showing people that, too. Hmm. Uh, last year, he's coming back again, uh, someone who designed a guitar amplifier that's kind of a pop-up one that basically sounds as good as an old Fender Hummer, you know, in the sense of that <laughs> warm humming sound. So it's a great time to uh, come and visit. It's July 26th and 27th, and one of the fascinating things that we can guarantee is people will have a great time. They certainly will have a great time, and especially, you know, I really highly recommend you consider taking the kids. Uh, Taking the kids to a museum is not often a a pretty experience. At the Henry Ford, it's different, though, I think every day, because it's such an interesting place that offers so much. But especially during Maker Fair, if you want to really excite your kids get them interested in, in learning without even really knowing it, this is the place to be. The Maker Fair coming up July 26th and 27th, uh, really kind of celebrating unconventional ingenuity. So uh, in the Henry Ford way, I think that's a, a fantastic way to really honor his memory and all that he stood for. So check out Maker Fair July 26th and 27th at the Henry Ford. And we want to thank uh, Christian Overland, Executive Vice President of the Henry Ford, for being with us today and telling us all about Maker Fair. For more information, all you have to do is go to MakerFairDetroit.com. Fair is spelled F-A-I-R-E, MakerFairDetroit.com. Of course, we have plenty of events happening all throughout the state, Michelle. We do. We're getting into a busy couple weeks here in Michigan. Of course, we've got the Pure Michigan 400 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series at Michigan International Speedway coming up on August 18th. And we've got the Upper Peninsula State Fair in Escanaba, uh, August 11th through the 17th. Also up in the UP, the Wild Blueberry Festival in Paradise. And you may not know this, Dave, but I used to, we had a family float every year in the Blueberry Festival Parade. <laughs> um, I've participated in several of those. Um, to Come See Classic Car and Bike Show is happening August 21st. And Cheeseburger in Caseville is going on the 8th through the 17th. Uh, this is a great uh, must uh, do must participate event for any of the Jib- Jimmy Buffett fans out there. Mm-hmm. Mackinac Island is celebrating celebrating Fudge at Fudge Festival at Mackinac Island at I can't Mackinac Island. It. Shocking! What do you know? Breaking news! Hard to believe. Uh, August twenty second through the twenty third, 
Uh, and we've got the Apple Door Tall Ship Sailing Adventures in uh, Bay City. It has some family ecology sales coming up um, on the 19th of August. So go to Michigan.org. There is a ton happening around the state this time of the year. Uh, check out the events calendar and plan a trip. And uh, for those parents out there, those Apple Door uh, tours, uh, family uh, kind of educational tours. Again, just don't tell the kids. They're going to have a great time, but they're going to learn something, too. And uh, I think that's a great way to travel. Learn as you have a great deal of fun. You know, speaking of that, I just recently had a group of uh, German travel writers that I brought all throughout the state. And uh, inevitably, they were testing uh, Michigan crafted beer everywhere we went. And for the most part, about 90% of the time, they were loving it. So uh, I highly recommend you take part in Craft Beer Month. It's this month, and we're going to learn more about that next, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org. Michigan.